Good morning, good morning. It is March the 27th, 2020. It is 6.20 a.m. All right. I started this as a social scientific experiment using social media for social changes. This is the first book I made. All right. This book is from 2007. All right. It shows when I opened up my store on Falls Road. It showed my community involvement in Zion, Illinois. It showed the people in the community on Hereford Road. And it showed the supporters of Shorties from Zion, Illinois. All right. So, like I said, this has been a 13 year journey, 14 now. And I needed these books to Completed. And this was about the prison industry and mass incarceration, the war on drugs, the laws y'all right to incarcerate people. I got a right to defend myself, my constitutional right. I went home on vacation. I came back on probation. This is the case number right here. All right. People of the state of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis. All right. It was filed in court February the 14th, 2008 on Valentine's Day. So if I was locked up in another state, this shows I was locked up in another state fighting for my freedom. My store shouldn't have never been open. I've been asking for audits since 2008. Nobody want to give me my money. See the people's names on this? All right. That's David Irwin. That's Ed Norris. That's Cheryl Nelson. That's Dwayne Gerald Davis Jr. That's Philip Davis. Congressman Elijah Cummings. Rob Fix. Glenn Nelson. Paul Weinblatt. Sheriff Fisher. Senator Ben Cardins. Barack Obama. All right. Michael Mueller. Michael Waller. Judge Starks, Judge Rossetti, Angelo Kyle, Robert Sabanjan, Audrey Nixon, Robert Evans Sr. Robert Evans Sr. dead. His son is here, though. This was about, I was making a movie about my life in Illinois, about the war on drugs, N62528. This is my lawyer, just handwritten, because I didn't have the luxury of a copy machine when I was in jail. My fingers was my copy machine. I had to write five copies of everything I did. But these is the originals. And these are cases. These are law. That's law right there. You understand? I'm not a lawyer. I didn't sleep at a Motel 6. I know how to read the law. I'm in the law books. I'm a jailhouse lawyer. And I'm good at what I do. Y'all had this. All right. And like Clippinger, Hassan Giordano, Ivan Bates. It was about the prison industry, NAACP, Quasi and Fume. Feel me? Federal. See, because I was held in another state which made it a federal violation. You feel me? Illinois and Maryland crossed the state lines. That's President Obama, Senator Obama, May of 2008, asking for an investigation. See that number? That's my penitentiary. That's my jailhouse number, L39345. I kept a jailhouse diary, so we're going to take my jailhouse diary. And I got your log books, all right? That's Lake County Jail, all right? DRC, all right? State of Illinois versus Hogan. I was giving y'all law when I was locked up and y'all couldn't stand it. I just found this stuff in my in my storage bin because I had to I had to move. But I got a lot of this stuff right here. It's gonna match your log books in Illinois. Not only gonna match your log books, 
<clears throat> I filed a complaint with the ARDC. And here goes your names. That's an old case. Blagojevich went to jail. We're going to see if we can send somebody else to jail. Representative Washington died. He ain't here no more. But Terry Link is. Angelo Kyle is. And this is my complaint to the ARDC. Received February 2008, Chicago. I got a case file, dog. And when I filed my paperwork, I filed some law. So they know that I know what I'm talking about. I know how to read and write. And these are the cases that I, these are the laws that I set on y'all. This man in the master's house, you got to use the master's tools. All right. Y'all received evidence that I was making a documentary in 2006, 2007. I told y'all before I came to town what I was going to do to y'all. Gave you nine letters design in 2006 and 2007. Rob Fix was my producer. He came there. These are the laws that you broke. And you know I like cartoons. That's why I be clowning y'all. Cartoonists stood up for the little guy in society. He used cartoons, I use a toilet. See that right there? That's received too. Mm, I gotta put my glasses on. That's the case file number. You read that? Pastor Capos, Mark Davis, Lionel Farmer, Herbert Stackhouse, Art Peterson, Joe McFarland. You see that? Inmate, inmate, inmate. Mayor Rockingham, Buddy Carpenter, Dennis Sawyer. See the date? February the 11th, 2008. That's, that's on court record. Like I said, my paperwork in the court record. I ain't got to change nobody's name on nothing. This is the original from the Maryland Black Caucus, March 2009, March 13th. That's the original. See Senator Pugh? See Teller Branch? See Kurt Anderson? Nathaniel Oates in jail. See J.O.P. Carter? See Frank Conway Jr.? Like I said, I, I'm good at what I do. I'm a professional. I am so damn professional, it's a damn shame. Because that's Judge Boris right there. And that's a mail receipt. See the date on that mail receipt? April 2007. I wasn't locked up in April of 2007. I told y'all I was coming home. Yes, 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 y'all. Drip. That's a feature film. It's a wrap. See the date? Like I said, I was in the film and filming. That's Rob Fix. He participated in Drip. That's the director of photography. See, the deal was Rob make me, he could use my store to make a film, and he had to make a film. My film is Letters Design, and Letters Design ain't fixed yet, finished yet. So everything that Rob Fix got is my shit. This is Dred Scott. That's the Supreme Court. It's Judgment Day. Feel me? Judgment Day. Here goes my film crew. That's Rob Fix. That's my film crew. That's the storyboard that you stole from me. That's about uh, Nafong and uh, Schellenberger. That's Rob Fix right next to it. I make storyboards because they tell stories. And these stories is the truth. That's me and Rob Fix with the white horse. That's them shooting up at Harford. stuck here with the coronavirus. virus this is my uh dd214 i'm an honorably discharged veteran of the united states navy my part of my uh work that i did was chemical warfare all right i was on the uss mississippi you can check it out 
as an administrative assistant to the engineering officer. You can ask Kim Truhart about military service. It's Kim Truhart was working in the military. She used to hold a bag. Ask Kim Truhart about our meetings with uh, Commissioner Davis and Bats. These are the supporters of Shorty. That's St. Paul's. All right, that's St. Paul's school. It's over 100 signatures that I got here from the alumni, they're alumni, alumni now, because this was like in 2006 when they signed this. See the dates, see the zip codes. I had white people standing up for a black man. It says right there, false imprisonment for filming a documentary about racism. Barbara Mikulski, 2009. This from the White House in 2008. This from President Bush. It says, Dear Mr. Davis. Yeah. That's from the White House. <laughs> this is from 2009 when Barack Obama became president. This is from the White House. We hope your concerns have been resolved. Dog, it ain't been resolved. It's been 13 years too long. Like I said, I'm getting ready to file a class action lawsuit because you, you've, you've, you've incarcerated a class of people for crimes that they don't commit. Right here it says, we the inmates of the Lake County Jail are public defenders. Yeah, indigents. Like I said, when I was in jail, I organized while I was in jail. Here goes the inmate signatures that participated in this. Because when I was in Lake County, y'all kept me for 186 days because I was organizing in jail. Just like Martin Luther King led us from my Birmingham jail. Dog, y'all couldn't put me in solitary confinement because I didn't break no laws. Y'all had me held for terrorism. So when I went in jail, I started organizing the inmates. This is signatures. And the Department of Justice got this. I got the copies because when 2011 came, y'all took the originals. But these copies was put away in somewhere that's safe. They was a graphic imaging on 25th Street. Been sitting there since I got locked up. I gave it to him. That's the inmate request form from 2008. When am I going to review the evidence? Dog, y'all destroy the evidence. I got a whole lot of this. Oh, my, my, my. Let me see where we at. All right, here we go. Investigative narrative. See, because what y'all did is some Emmett Till shit. Y'all had this white lady say that I, I, I threatened her, and I ain't threatened her. I told her she was going to go to jail. Right there, that's your police report right there. That's Miss Jeong. I said, good morning. I ain't say nothing about bomb, nothing. I said, good morning. I want my property back. We're going to send some of these judges to jail. Blah, 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 blah. And I had it on video, was recording y'all. Scared the shit out that white lady. On December the 24th, like I said, I went home on vacation, came back on probation. This is the police report. And I ain't seen this shit in like 20, uh, since 2007. I ain't even looked at this. It's got all of it here. All right, y'all asked for evidence. Y'all asked for evidence. All right, so I'm giving y'all evidence. I'm giving the House Judiciary, the Senate Judiciary, and Governor Hogan and Brian Frost evidence. I'm giving it to you on video so it ain't no misunderstandings. That's my shorty program. See the date? See the email? 2008. Y'all had my shorty program before I got locked up. I gave you the shorty program long before I got locked up. Governor O'Malley approved the program. Mm. Y'all in the legal shit, and I'm good at legal law. So I'm going to give you what you asked for. Bam, that's a legal notice. That covers Lake County, Cook County, Lake County, Illinois, Baltimore County, and Baltimore City. Because I owned a business in Baltimore County. I was a Baltimore City resident, and I was incarcerated in Lake County, Illinois. So I went to all your courts and let y'all know what was going on. 
Letters to my president. I was making a movie like that too. Letters to my president. That's President Bush. That's President Obama. That's my house on 1402 Lockman. Dear gentlemen, today is January 10th, 2009. You feel me? That's when they flipped. That's when uh, Bush gave his presidency over to Obama and Obama sat in office for eight years and didn't do nothing. That's it right there. Senator-elect Obama, Governor O'Malley, Department of Justice, Patrick Fitzgerald, and Lake County Board. Y'all ask for evidence. I got all the evidence that you need. Here is your date. And we don't want nobody to be no misunderstandings. Dear President Obama, notarized 2009. Like I said, I already got the letter from the White House. They already said, done to my satisfaction. I'm not satisfied. Told y'all when I started this. What's the date? August 2007. Governor Blagojevich, 2007. July of 2007. Six months before y'all locked me up. Told y'all I was coming. This is a motion hearing. 2009. And like I said, Frank Conway destroyed all the evidence for this motion here. Y'all produce this, mo this shit from the clerk's office, then we ain't got a whole lot of problems. This is John Kelly from Utah. Because like I said, this is supposed to have been at the Sundance Film Festival. And it says it right here. He's making a movie. And it says right here. Per your request. In the sandwich about 10 days ago, I enclosed the Sundance Film Festival submission information. You can see, unfortunately, the deadline is passed for this year. So I wasn't going to make it for the 2008. So I was going to do the 2009, but y'all locked me up in 2007 so, and took the film too. So y'all really like fucked me up. But I got everything on court record. Here's the date when y'all took my film. And that's the film that you took. It says evidence. That's my lawyer, John Bailey, right there. 2009. Y'all took my truck, the computer, all that good shit. Mm. Now we can go on and on and on and on with this. But at the end of the day, these is my sons. All right? These is my sons. And I made my sons carry this toilet in Washington, D.C., New York City. I made them carry it in Chicago as a punishment because they wanted to have that street life. So I wanted to show them what that street life was. I embarrassed them when I made them carry that toilet, but when they was carrying it, they learned something. They learned about morals and responsibilities. They learned about shame and how to live with shame. What's that, that? The law that tears black families apart. I can't raise my kids if I'm locked up. I can't go to their birthdays. They, I can't do a lot of shit with my kids. You know what I'm saying? If I'm dead or locked up, I can't be there for birthdays, anniversaries. I can't be there for graduations. I can't be there to raise them. And if you ain't there to raise them, how you going to save them? So you need to figure that one out. This is the book and it's called the Minority Report. And I went from the back to the front. And in front of the Minority Report, is a letter to my senators and my congressmen. My address, 1402 Lochner. And that's me and President, oh, let me see. That's me and President Obama. It's Photoshop, but that is what it is. And that's my son, Jarrell. Worst thing in the world is to get that phone call to say that your, your your loved one is dead or murdered. These is my kids. Just because one is dead, I got to fight for the rest of them. You feel me? And I took them to Washington, D.C. I taught my kids about the struggle because we're in the struggle every day. Win, lose, or draw. I did what I was supposed to do. I'm going to finish what I started. 
2020 session ain't over with. May y'all reconvening. I want access to the grand jury. Uh, April 15th, y'all prolong the tax shit. Jake Davis, Paul Weinblatt, the Ryan Battle, Dwayne Gerald Davis Jr., Darlene Davis. Been filing false taxes since 2008, dog. Y'all seen I was locked up. Nobody got a right to my property. I am Dred Scott. It's judgment day. It ain't fuck me, it's fuck you. And I ain't got to watch my mouth. I ain't got to watch what I say because y'all fuck me around. Y'all owe me. Y'all gonna get the 86 shorty because like I didn't never let nobody take nothing from me then. I ain't gonna let nobody take nothing from me now. I'm married to the streets till death do us part. And that's how I eat off these blocks. I just got a contribution from the community to keep this fight going. I'm getting ready to fix my truck up, fix my grill up. I'm getting ready to go get my money. But I need a, a audit. I need a federal and the state audit from 2008 so we can clear this shit up. I'm ready to go back into business and sit in the driver's seat. And if y'all don't understand that, then y'all don't understand money. I'm out $2.6 million in lost wages. Those movies was about $130 million. I set the price of my product and I put a lot of work in that shit. And I can back it up with my books. Got 13 movies, 13 ghosts, 13 years, and you got to do what you got to do. But I'm going to see you live in living color. If I catch you out on the streets, I'm going to put this camera in your face and I'm going to check your ass. I don't give a fuck who you is. Chief of police, mayor, senator, governor, y'all owe me. I'm going to put the camera in your face. I'm going to ask you 21 questions. They're going to be intelligent questions. Do blacks have rights in Maryland? I ain't worried about the coronavirus. I'm worried about white America killing us like, like they've been killing us for 400 years. We dying every day. And then none of y'all want to address the war on drugs. Y'all want to keep this violence going. Well, dog, I tapped out in 86. I quit. I retired. This is my 401k. These movies, these books. Dog, it's like iceberg slim, except this shit is real. This ain't no fantasy. Anything I say out my mouth, I can back it up. I'm the king of talking shit, and you can ask somebody about that. Mic check. See you tomorrow. We're going to finish what we started.